This segment brought to you by Kansas Corn. Learn more at kscorn.com. Welcome back. Now let's see what Kyle and Dwayne are up to today on Plain Talk. Hi, this is Kyle Bauer with Plain Talk with Dwayne Taves. <laughs> Hey, thanks for the powerful introduction. <laughs> You're all right. Yeah. Go ahead. Your fact or fiction question yeah. of the day. Uh, everybody wants to be a lawyer, and then lawyers end up being judges. You know why? Judges make substantially more on average than a lawyer. Fact or on fiction? Average. Average mm. salary. Wow. Um, I'll go true. Yeah, it's false. It's false. A couple thousand. That's okay. all the difference well, is. That's not substantial, is it? What is it? Okay, well, well let's take substantial. Two thousand compared take, to none. Yeah, let's take two thousand off your salary and give <laughs> it, was, it to me. That's was not substantial. substantial. Well, okay. that's not substantial in the big picture All of right. things. I don't well, think. I knew there was a little bit. Ninety-two thousand, roughly, what judges make. Okay, lawyers ninety thousand. And there's a difference whether you're a district judge or a federal judge right. or this you're a magistrate just... or a city judge or yeah. Yeah, and that isn't necessarily, that's nationwide. Yes, it is. That isn't necessarily in Kansas Yeah, no, either. this is not a local, this is a big big picture of things. Big picture of things. Yeah. Speaking so. of the big picture, what is the re- retirement age that people think about normally in the United States? 65. There you go. And how was that age picked? That's because somebody back when they figured Social Security out and paying out, they thought they could, uh, they could, Make the fund last. You'd die soon enough, they wouldn't run out of money. Well, and actually, you're kind of close, but it went back further than that, and that was in the 30s. Social Security came about in the 30s. Okay. In, the, in the alphabet type commissions that was during the Roosevelt um, era. All okay? right. And, uh, but they stole the idea from an old boy in Germany really? by the name of Bismarck. Bismarck. Okay? He designed a plan for retirement. Because he was hoping to diffuse his political, um, the people on the other side. Right. And uh, so he came out with this plan, and it, the government will pay your retirement at 65. The thing was, the average age of living in 1881? Uh, 63. Oh, about 58. Oh. Yeah, but, but <laughs> people still bought off on it. It's like, all right. Uh, yeah, you went to 65, like you can take it exactly. easy from there on. And so that's how they happened to pick it when they... Started the one started in the U.S. Because that's the what United the Germans States. did. Yeah, it's like, well, it worked for them. It didn't cost them squat. Well, they didn't have to pay nothing. Well, then we got this darn health care thing. Oh. And people started living longer. So the point was, you weren't huh. ever supposed to ever really live long enough to get your To retirement. enjoy. No, not just to enjoy it. To just get, to even get to it. To get it. Yeah. So, uh, well, it, that's which, There's a strange anomaly with that, too. It appears if you make it past 65-ish. Yeah. Then there's then a you got very a fair high chance. likelihood to go to 80. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, it's there is a bit, you know, but but still, 65 is kind of a hump. Uh, you get over that hump, and then you, you kind got of got a, smooth sailing till your 80s. Got a shot. Yeah. yeah. So so the big... I'm not close enough yet to really to feel even like start managing whether or not I need to manage around 65 or not. All right. I am assuming at my age, I'm not going to... Uh, the The retirement age will not be 65 when I get there. I think you should assume that you're not going to ever see it anyway with your lifestyle. Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Jamie Bloom, and I hope you enjoyed today's show. See you next week on Farm Factor. We're here every Tuesday on Ag AM in Kansas. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com.